Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Father Glock. It is the morning of day 17 and I do have a couple of skill points to spend here this morning. So let's go into Health Nut Level 3, which officially makes me a jogging asshole. I like that. And let's also go into Minor 69er Level 2. Okay, before we go and do this second job for Eve, let's go mine some oil shell. I mean, we're already out here in the middle of the desert anyway, so we might as well go see if we can find some. Well, that was quick. We're basically right behind Eve's place. We got these two stones real close together. This has got to be something. Oil shell. It's just that easy. No shit. Welcome to my hole, buddy. Make yourself at home. My hole is your hole. All right, that's good enough. Shouldn't be working this hard this early in the morning. Got over 4,000 pieces of oil shell, though, so I am satisfied with that. Let's go check out this job now. Here we are. Man, this kind of looks like the Pakanak Lodge from Friday the 13th. Maybe it's just the color, though, because Pakanak Lodge does not have a garage. I did build Pakanak Lodge, though. If you go to my real-world playlists, you can find it there. I fought a horde and destroyed it after I spent so much fucking time building it. But that's the best part, you know? Destroying all of your hard work. I mean, there's like a fine line between creating something and destroying something. The feeling that you get when it's over is very similar, so I like doing both of those things. Damn, big boy, at least excuse yourself, you rude son of a bitch. There we go, got ourselves a wheel, nice. All right, this is a retrieve the supplies job, and it looks like the supplies are up on the second floor. So let's get to it, but probably let's be a little cautious too because this is a job for Eve Who knows this place could be loaded up with zombies. Oh shit. Damn. He came running back the fuck up, dude See what I mean? Entertainment center, let's pop that open, and a snake, that's clear. Oh, zombie in there, waking up. All right, there's the snake. Die, snake, got him. Chill, big mama. Holy shit, she must have drank a Mega Crush this morning. Back up, stripper. Fuck. Ah. and a bird. All right, let's check big mama's loot bag. Five empty cans left over from her breakfast this morning. Must have been spinach. She came running out like fucking Popeye. Come on, bird. Let's go. I don't got all day. No, come down. Here we go. A little bit of lead. Let's check this purse. Weird shotgun shells. Oh, those are coil shells. I picked up some of those before. We need to get ourselves a coil gun. I think, do you have to craft those or can you find one? I don't know. I have to go through our gun parts. I might have coil gun parts. I don't even fucking know. Do that tonight. Because as we start to progress now, it's going to be a lot more demons and shit. That's why I'm not taking on the third job from Eve just yet. Because from what I've heard, there's going to be a bunch of demons. I don't know if there's a behemoth or what. But behemoths are going to start showing up in the horde. So... We need to drastically improve our uh, gun situation. And um, moving forward in Darkness Falls, that's what it is. Energy weapons and coil weapons. Standard fucking guns and, and ammo isn't going to do shit. 
in uh, Darkness Falls Endgame. And that's how I handle solicitors. Just open a door and choppity chop. Can you believe people still come fucking knocking on your door trying to sell you shit nowadays? Don't they know the internet exists? Slow down, Skinny Pete. You too, stripper. Ooh, chopped her head off. Nice, I'll take one of these vitamins. Bottle of water, I'll take it. Big old bathroom. Anybody hiding in the shower? Nope, just some trash. Empty. Nothing. Some yeast. That's a weird place to put yeast in your bathroom. But, hey, who am I to judge? Pumpkin seed recipe, I'm a scrap for the yellow paper. Uh, we are gonna go to that cracker book today as well. Speaking of yellow paper. Load up on that shit. So that's the plan. When we're done here, we're gonna go, uh... See the trader. We don't have to go back to Eve to get our reward. We can get our reward just right from the trader. And then there's the cracker book is near the trader, so we're gonna do that. And maybe we'll take a job for the trader. Fuck it, because we're making good time today. This job doesn't seem to be too difficult. Here's the main stash. Get out of here. Where are the supplies? In here, I bet. There they are. Look at this. We're done. We got something going on out here. Oh. Zombies at this door. Ah, football player. Back up. Oh, jeez. Fucking football players. Mechanical parts. Snake. I don't think we need to grab those keys. There's the snake. All right, a little more meat. Grab this loot bag. Deal with big boy. Grab the main stash and we're out of here. Oh, party in the kitchen, and no one invited me. Get out of here, Kenny. Man, loot bags are just dropping like crazy today. I like it. I'm gonna grab this cooking pot. I wasn't able to boil any meat last night because I didn't have one. And Eve didn't have a working forge, so I couldn't craft one. But now, if I want to cook some meat before we head home, we can do that. Oh, rad remover mod, huh? That's a good one. Got a nice Winchester rifle here, though. Let's go rad remover. That's good. Let's take a look at Rick's jobs real quick. Tier 4. Okay, so Darkness Falls has not adopted the faction thing yet. So, everybody's jobs upgrade. It's not like you have to upgrade each trader's job individually like you have to do in vanilla now. So, I like that. Um, before we go do this, whoops, before we go do this job for Rick, though, let's set up the crack of book first. Ooh, a chainsaw. That's fun. I'll have to mess with that later. I'm curious to know if the chainsaw in Darkness Falls is just like the one in Vanilla, whereas, I mean, it's only good for chopping trees down. It's not really a viable weapon. Maybe it's different here. Oh, we're waking him up. Well, let's bottleneck them here at the doorway, I guess. Oh, shit. Close that door. Um... Not really much out here I can use. I guess we'll just use the shotgun then. That should help. Back up. Back up. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I forget I have guns. I'm so focused on being knife guy. No, oh, knife guy is effective, though. Fuck off, lady. You're not part of this. Doctor's dead. Oh, that was fun. Got a few loot bags out of the deal, too. Nice. Oh, does everybody want to read a book this morning? Get out of here, stripper. You know you're not reading anything. Or maybe she is. Who knows? I'm, I'm being too judgy. She could be stripping her way through college. In that case, she would be reading things. Just not at night.
I'm gonna sell this pipe shotgun along with all this other stuff that I forgot to sell to Rick. I meant to sell it to him. Um, it skipped my mind. But we'll be going back to see Rick, so... We'll sell it at some point. Here we go. Bam! Yellow paper. Let's pop this open. Bam! More yellow paper. You know, if all we find here are schematics we've already read, won't even be mad about it, because that's why I'm here. For the yellow paper, so we can make another... Get out of here! I heard you coming, bitch! Ooh, how you like that, huh? You just got crowbarred. Seven hundred bucks. Man, I love the amount of cash you can pull from registers in Darkness Falls. None over here, unfortunately. More yellow paper, though. This is a little storage room, I think. Yeah, with zombies. Let's see what we can do. Dead. Dead. And uh, they're waking up. Ah, green key card. I heard you need one of those for Eve's third job, so she must send us somewhere crazy for the third job. Uh, but we got a couple more green key cards at home, so we're good. Pipe. Let's actually use that to repair that pipe shotgun that we're going to sell. Well, literally every schematic or book on the first floor was one we've already read, which I said is fine. That's what we're here for, the yellow paper. We still have another floor to search. A bathroom right here with some zombs. Let's deal with them. Wake up, bitch. Sit him again. Dead. Holy fuck, there's a lot of zombies up here. Damn! Oh my god, they're jumping off the railing already. These doors are broken. Shit. Alright then. Uh, fucking M60 would be good right now. Okay, up on the car. If you zombies could not blow this car up, I'd appreciate it. Uh, let's go back inside. Oh, get out of the way, lady. All right. We're okay. Sorta. A lot of zombies still upstairs, but that's where I'm headed. Come on, you fucks. Bam! Sit down. Yes. No shit. Get out of here, Skinny Pete. Um. Oh my god, we need refuge. Uh, can we get up there? I think we can right here. Nice. Okay. I can deal with this. I mean, they're going to be able to get up here, but uh, it'll create a nice little bottleneck where we can deal with a little at a time. Oh, shotgun was not fully loaded. We're going to machete. Back up. Okay. Sort of working. Oh, we're getting overwhelmed. Gotta go. Let's find somewhere else to run or just hold it down right here. We're good. All right. This is manageable. Bug off, big mama. God damn, that was crazy. Fuck, Kane was like, how many zombies should I put on the second floor? Oh, I know. All of them. All right, every single schematic or book in here we read already, but that's okay. I said it twice, I'll say it a third time. We were just here for the yellow paper, and that's what we got. Enough to craft another class book, so I'll probably do that tonight. Might as well, right? Just keep fucking learning more classes and learning more skills. All right, we got this job for Rick. I have no idea what time it is. Keep in mind, this is a tier four job, so could take a while and it's a clear end retrieve supplies quest let's just go check it out and see if i feel like it's getting too late out of the way buddy oh that was a good one uh if i feel like it's 
going to roll over tonight and we're not close to finishing the job, we could always bail. Look, it's right here. What the hell is this place? Mega Crush Company. Holy shit. I have never been here before. But it looks gigantic. Oh man, I forgot to I gotta sell all this shit. Um. Alright, whatever. I'll hold it in my inventory. I'm not gonna go to Rick's now. We're gonna go to Rick's when we're done here. Alright, I guess this is where we're starting. The main lobby. I don't know if you can see what's going on here, but basically this whole tower fell over. So, this is gonna be fucking insane. This is like, holy shit! Damn, dude. That's a welcoming. Um, so yeah, this is like a tower POI, but basically tilted over on its side. Um, so I have no idea how this is gonna go. It's probably gonna be a clusterfuck of a POI, that's for sure. And, um, I don't know why we have two Sarah. See, like, Darkness Falls sometimes lets you double read a map, and then it puts two of them on, uh, the list of jobs to do, but really it's only one treasure. Fuck off! Well, we're starting off good. Um... Yeah, this is probably gonna be a clusterfuck of a POI. I've never been in it before. But we're gonna do our best, okay? It would be nice if it was just a retrieve supplies because we would know exactly where we have to go. But it's not. We gotta kill all the zombies too. 1200 bucks, I'll take it. Well, I hope that's a big boy and not a cop. That door's locked. Some lead. I probably should be skipping all this little bullshit, you know? No reason to kind of loot that stuff. We're in a rush. There's the cop! Jeez! It might have been Big Boy, though, that burped originally. Get out of here! Why does he look so big? <laughs> is he taller than normal? Let's see if we can get him to blow up! Come on! Do your thing, buddy! There he goes! Oh, took a little damage there. I don't think that was a normal cop. I think Kane may have made that guy a little bigger than normal. Possibly a larger damage range with his uh, explosion, too. Look at this. As if there's not enough zombies in here that I gotta kill. I gotta kill all the ones outside, too. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, this is rough. And we're, like, just getting started. Oh, I hope this wasn't a bad idea. We could just be heading home right now. Nice, peaceful day. Go work on the base. That's all right. We're gonna do it. We're fine. Look, our health is almost full. We're monsters. Nothing can stop us. All right. Uh, we're still in the portion of the building that is upright, obviously. It's gonna be pretty trippy, I imagine, when we get in the portion that's tilted over on its side. I don't need those goth pants. Oh, this stuff, actually, we should search. Nail gun. That's nice. Puffy coat. I don't know if we have a puffy coat, so I'm gonna take it. Even though I do like the college jacket the best because uh, of the movement speed. What was that? Was that me? I think I might have stepped on that tile. All right, duffel bag. I'll check that. There we go. Hazmat zombie, drop a bag! Oh, you stingy prick. I heard when hazmat zombies drop bags, it usually has a piece of hazmat suit inside, which we are in need of. Uh, another thing uh, a lot of you were telling me in the last episode when we got the hazmat mask is to scrap those hazmat pieces for the hazmat material, and then we can craft basically a hazmat mod that we can put into armor that will protect us from the radiation. Because if we just put the hazmat suit on, we lose our armor. And that sucks. Uh, okay. This is the building that is turned on its side. Looks like there's a way to get over to it from up here. Man, this is fucking cool as shit. Oh my god. Look at the work done to this POI. This is amazing. Oh, there we go. Some generic 
Schematic paper. Wood. I don't know why I'm searching the trash. All right, there's a way to get over. Let's do it. I think I killed all the zombies on that side. I don't know. Would suck if we missed some, though. Because backtracking through this place has got to be a nightmare. I don't even know if it's possible. Oop! Some concrete mix. This is definitely not the way to go. I guess we're going uh, through here. Just wanted to check, make sure that wasn't a plug. Oh, look at the door like that. Oh my god. I'm fucking dizzy. That's crazy. This is gonna be such a mind fuck. What's down here, though? We gotta check. Oh! Floor's giving out. Well, the wall's giving out. Holy shit. Let's just go up this ladder. Look, this door's open. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just going up. The fuck? There's a torch up here. This is the way I'm going. Whoa, there are the supplies. Alright, that's done. Now we just gotta find and kill all the zombies in here. Which is probably easier said than done. Look at the fan on the wall. I mean, it's on the ceiling, but... Looks like it's on the wall. Alright, uh, we're going up this ladder, I guess, and through here. Look at this. It's like Alice in Wonderland. More yellow paper. So confusing. I feel like I have to tilt my head sideways to see what's going on. Oil. That's good. Nothing. Alright, guess we're going through here. There's a zombie by that window. He's probably not part of the POI, though. Probably just outside trying to get in. So, not too worried about him. Let's go up here now, I guess. I feel like I may have missed or skipped something, and if we did miss, like, one room with the zombie in it, you know how hard it's gonna be to backtrack and try and find that zombie? And there's a bear, I'm sure that thing is part of the POI. Holy shit. This is gonna be wild. Let's make sure the shotgun's loaded. Oh my god, I have no shotgun ammo. I put it in the charger. I'm so dumb. Well, you know what they say, being dumb is like being dead. It's only painful for other people. So, looks like you guys are gonna suffer. Uh, where are you going, bear? Here it comes. Yes, please be stuck right there. Oh, make this easy on me, please. I want headshots, body shots hardly do anything. Where's it going? Stay right there. You stay. Yeah, beat that zombie up. Oh, fuck. Come on, guys. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Oh, bear got through. I'm jumping. Oh, shit. All right. Didn't break a leg. That's good. Where's the bear? Did he get stuck? Yeah, he got stuck. Okay, this is nice. Oh, my God. No oh, shit. Uh, oh, my God. Die. Oh, like one more shot and he's dead. There we go. All right. That was fucking cool. That was fun. I'm going to be honest. I like that a lot. Well, I'm hearing a bunch more zombies. Problem is, I think they're all coming from outside. We need to find zombies inside the POI. I have no idea where I'm at. We need to get back up to where the bear was. This is crazy. I think I'm getting ahead of myself going this way. I don't even think I can go this way. Well, I'm back in the original part of the building. I couldn't find my way back up to where the bear was. I found an exit. So I basically started over again. Oh, look at this. We did miss some zombies over here. Well, that's good then, I guess. Dead? Not dead. Now dead. And a loot bag. 
Oh, hold on. Here we go. Dead. Let's grab this loot bag, pop into that safe, see if there are any more zombies over here, and we'll get back to where that bear was. Alright, this is it, where we left off. The bear was right down the hallway here, through that window. These are the loot bags those businessmen dropped. A couple of, uh... Treasure map, some cash. I'm good on those pants, though. Oh, I can't read these. You know what? I'm gonna hold on to them. Because once we pick up Taylor's treasure, uh, we can then read those treasure maps, and that'll put Taylor's treasure back on the map. Some more yellow paper. And, uh... Oh, here we go. Some more yellow paper. I don't think that's the way to go. Um, here we are. There's a light down here, leading the way. Okay, I think we're back on track. Painkiller, sure. Let's not fall down there. Oh, there's a zombie. That's good. See ya. Nice. I've not cleared the area yet. I don't expect to clear the area until at least we get to the main stash. There's certainly got to be a main stash. I expect a nice big pile of loot with this crazy-ass place. Look at that. Floor gave out right there. That's not good. There's an engine right there. Let's take that apart. No engine, but mechanical part and some iron. Um, all right. I guess we're going through here. Dude, can you imagine making a base out of this place? What a clusterfuck, huh? That might be fun to just... Like, go to the entrance of this place and bring on a horde and just run through the POI and see if you can, uh... Basically survive by running through and finding areas where the zombies can't get to you. I mean, there's a lot of, like, parkour that has to happen to navigate your way through this POI. It would be interesting, that's for sure. Um, you'd have to do it before you really get to learn the POI, though, because that would be the fun part, is just running around like a maniac, not knowing where you're going. Back up, lady. All right. Area still not clear, like I said. I don't expect it to be until we get to wherever the hell the main stash is. It's getting a bit late. Which leaves me a little concerned, but I think we we got to be coming towards the end here. Uh, and even if it does roll over tonight, we got to finish this job. And we can still go see the trader because they don't close at night. And then we're just going to drive home. All right, I'm assuming this is going to be it. Yep, got some birds. Oh, dead. 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 Damn it, not clear yet. Okay, then. Well, here's the main stash. Oh, that's a lot of footsteps. Holy shit. I have no idea how many zombies are running at us right now. Lots of them. Fuck. Shotgun doesn't do dick to that soldier. He's turning around. Oh, shit. Oh, jump. Oh, no, I can't get... Back up there. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, fuck. Alright, come on, you pricks. Oh, man, zombies are falling. This is gonna be fun. Alright, at least they're all marked on the compass now. So we should be able to find them. Oh! Oh, we are bleeding out. Alright. Let's grab this loot bag. Oh, what the fuck is that? I have no idea. I'll worry about it later. A loot bag fell down there. Uh, let's not go down yet. We gotta go back up. I wanna get the main stash. Gotta grab that, kill the rest of these zombies, and we can get the hell out of here.
You better have some reward for me, Rick, after that bullshit. Lever action rifle. Alright, I guess I'll go with the rifle. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, sledgehammer crafting? Nah. I don't want a sledgehammer. What else can you teach me, though? Uh, electricity basics? Sure. Melee traps? Yeah. Teach me all the things, Rick. Teach me your ways. Do it yourself. Let's learn that, too. Whatever that is. What a friggin' day. That was fun, though. Man, that Mega Crush POI is insanity. That is the craziest POI I've ever explored in seven days, bar none. That, that includes, like, custom-made shit. So, bravo to the fun pimps for putting that thing together. Here we go. Got some eggs and shit. I'll make some animal feed and get those chicken coops restocked. We gotta go through all this inventory tonight, get it sorted out. And then I guess tomorrow we'll just, uh, continue exploring our town. Maybe do jobs for our trader. We need to, um... Just continue to increase our arsenal. We need coil guns, energy guns. We need better weapons. <laughs> so we'll work on that, and we'll also work on the base. We got to prepare for night 21. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Father Glock, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.